Tinibu in shock. APC chieftains blast Tinibu. You disgraced us. Resign now. Breaking news. Hello, guys. Welcome back once again to this YouTube channel. You know, Tinibu has actually brought shame to this country. And in the international community, this is the way probably they might be looking at Nigerians. That if our number one citizen could have the F-13 and the mind to go and forge a document that did not emanate from the Chicago State University. Now, it is quite shameful that uh, the other, other nations will be looking at us as if we are certificate forgers and all that. I'm going to tell you what an APC, uh, AP, APC chief then, you know, actually told Balatini, blasted him and, you know, told him the bitter truth. You know, despite party affiliations, this thing that just happened needs everybody to come out together and criticize this and ask Tinibu to shamefully or honorably anyone he wants to resign from that particular position as the number one citizen of this country. I will play the video for you to listen to what this man said and how, how he blasted Tinibu. He's an APC, APC uh, chief then. A very strong APC chief, but he, he understands the gravity and the implication of supporting this atrocity and this abomination that Tinibu just committed. Because it is going to affect us and affect our future. You know, till today, we are suffering of a, a, a UAE visa ban because of the sins of probably what some Nigerians committed. And if the number one citizen of this country is deemed to have, to, to have you know, forged a document in the United States of America, it is very terrible and it is a very terrible uh, uh, offense that is, that is going to bring a bad name to Nigeria. Well, let me play the video and we'll come back to we'll analyze everything that the man said. submitted to INEC was forged or not. That is the issue in controversy. And how until that issue is, is settled, is resolved, Nigeria will not know where to stand in this issue. And from the deposition or the other deposition by the Registrar of Chicago State University, he admitted clearly without any ambiguity that the school did not issue the certificates Tinibu submitted to INEC. And that is the directive that you just want to hear. I don't know whether Alex News has a contrary view to that assertion by the Registrar of Tinibu State University that they did not issue that certificate to Tinibu. And if the school has come out by its other deposition, that they did not issue that certificate to Tinibu. And going by our law, which is Section 1371J, that a person is not qualified to run for the office of president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria if that person has submitted a false certificate to INEC. If that is the law, is Tinibu or was Tinibu qualified? I mean, issue to contest the office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? And the answer is no. That is what the directive should be. I know whether Tinibu attended Chicago State University or not, because that is not our law. And Atuku never in, in, in his pleadings applied that uh, Tinibu did not or he did attend Chicago State University. All that was pleaded was that he was not qualified, and the and in his reply stated that the certificate he submitted to INEC was forged. So that is the basis of this discussion. Okay. So you can see what the man is saying, that it is glaring obvious even to the blind that the certificate this man is parading and the one I submitted to INEC, they were, they are all forged. And he said that this is what Nigerians should focus on because the constitution of Nigeria, uh, section 137 IJ, which I have always stated, you know, stipulates that if anybody is found wanting or if anybody has ever submitted a forged document to the independent national electoral body, that the person must, the emphasis must be disqualified. And we cannot have a number one citizen who parades, who has been parading a forged document. He used the same forged document to rule Lagos State for eight good years. You could imagine the, the, the insult. To the to to the intelligence of all the all the Nigerians and Lagosians, and now he wants to come to rule more than two hundred million Nigerians with same forged document, with same forged detail, and with same forged everything. It is not going to work. It is an abomination, and it should be you know uh, uh, criticized and condemned by all who means well for this country. It should be criticized by all who means well for this country. You could see some APC. This man is an APC chieftain. You can see how he came out to criticize and tell him the truth. Like I've often said, the truth is bitter. The truth is always bitter. 
no matter how people try to paint the truth, you must actually accept the truth and tell yourself the, 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 the right thing to do. APC supporters will come out and criticize their so-called leader, Abin Bola Ahmed Tinibu, for him to tender an apology to more, uh, to more than 200 million Nigerians, resign from his uh, position and forget that position because this is going to affect not just him, but it's going to affect the millions of Nigerians and our reputation and our uh, 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 and our dignity in the international communities. How will other developed nations and countries be looking at Bola Metinibu, who forged, who, who has been said and not said, that have been proven to have forged a document that is submitted to INEC? The only educational qualification that is submitted to INEC has been proven beyond reasonable doubt that he forged that document. A lot of people are saying, had they been this hospital, be by now, we could have seen some people. Even protesting, we could have seen some people destroying a whole lot of things. Had Pimpi to be was the president and his document was proven to be forged or probably did not even emanate from the university, which he claimed. I can categorically tell you this for free. So you could see the whole situation surrounding this incident that they need to prove that this man needs to go out from that particular position. Well, like I said, I'll keep on updating you guys and I want you guys to drop your comments in the comment section.